Hey everyone, Tony D with another Piney Podcast. Uh, I wish I had some good news for you, Pineys, but it's uh, pretty much the same. We got about a thousand new cases, uh, I think uh, 1,300. Um, the beer virus, again, has leveled off. Uh, again, it's probably less cases because we're doing more testing. Um, Phil came out today and said, oh, don't worry, gyms and barbershops and salons and whatnot, I see them opening in weeks, not months. Ha, huh, see everybody, it's all gonna be okay. Weeks, weeks, what are you, out of your mind? What are you going to tell a barbershop that we don't already know? Wear a mask, wipe everything off, until the next customer comes in, open the doors, open your windows. Seriously? You can't, you can't at least tell them? Move your chair outside, into the sun. You could, you could cut hair in a day, something. Uh, this is ridiculous. Other states are now opening, Phil. I see, I think, what this is. What this is, is the National Party of the Democrats putting out the word, pump the brakes. Pump the brakes. We don't want the economy to recover before the election. Make sure your economy is pretty trash. Oh, don't worry. In November, after Biden gets in, you all get a big package. We'll, we'll buy the economy back, which won't work, by the way. Um, so if you're, you're thinking that might work and you're a Democrat, you're out of your mind because that's not how the economy works. You can't just will it back into existence. You can't just throw money at the problem. This has been the problem from the beginning with Democrats. And I'm getting entirely pissed. I, I'm, I'm just infuriated at these people that they would do this. You know, early on, when I heard rumors, mostly from Republicans saying, ah, oh, come on, the Democrats, they're gonna, they're gonna trash the economy if they can before the election. I said, no one's that stupid. No one's that dumb to think it could work. Here we are. Here we are. Every Democratic governor, oh, let's, let's just slow down, people. You could die of the beer virus. Let's just slow down. You don't want to kill grandma, do you? Don't open your tractor store. Don't open your home goods store. Oh, by the way, Walmart is going to be selling all that stuff and taking away your business, but you'll be doing your part. This is the most unbelievable thing, too. I mean, here you have Democrats, the people who say, oh, we, we support the little guy and little businesses. BS. Total BS. These major corporations are doing whatever they want. They can stay open. Meanwhile, little places crushed. The latest story is from Tim Pool, who reported on uh, a woman who has a home goods store. She didn't open. She had a Facebook uh, online sale and that's when you do like a live stream on Facebook and you sell stuff just like Amazon or QVC the police shut her down she did not have any customers in her store the police shut her down an online merchant shut down by the state government this is what we're living under now we're living under an oppressive regime. It's no longer a government. It's a regime. The regime of Phil Murphy doddering up in, in the state capitol. Oh, we, well, we might open in a few weeks, everyone. The new normal. Oh, it's going to be wonderful, the new normal. Everyone will be perfectly safe and we'll have a thousand contract tracers constantly asking you if you're sick and, 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 and harassing people on their phones via email, coming to their house. Won't that be wonderful, everybody? And of course, we probably will need more than a thousand and we're probably gonna have to raise your taxes. And well, all the businesses that went out, well, we're gonna have to raise your taxes to make up the money for that too. A hundred thousand businesses gone, not just in New Jersey, all over. Uh, they say in New York, something like 40% of the businesses are, are, aren't gonna come back. You have people in New York throwing block parties, defying their government. Now, 
Granted, they're more draconian in New York. Phil's kind of slow pedaling it, which is getting him some mileage. But Phil, you're just getting a slow riot, a slow boil here, which I think is going to be worse in the long run when things finally crack open. You've got people in New York, and I guarantee you the mafia is all over this. First, they open a little bar, a little secret bar. Eh, people come in for a few beers, no big deal. It's just 20 people. Then it turns into 100. Then word gets out, to, turns into 250. And then some local mob guys come over and say, hey, you know, um, the police want to shut you down, but we'll keep you open. And in fact, we got tons of beer here. We can make some real money. Next thing you know, they're in business. And they got a thousand people in an illegal bar, just like Prohibition. Oh, and the next thing you know, there's also some drugs and some hookers and all kinds of illegal gambling going on. Isn't that wonderful, Phil? Isn't that wonderful? Is, is that what you want for the Garden State as well? Because I'm sure that's exactly what's happening in New York right now. People have had it. They're going to throw you out on your ear. This has to stop. The gym, by the way, the gym in Belmar, Atlas Gym, um, they, uh, well, I, I, have to, I have to preface this by saying I work not too far from Atlas Gym in my day gig. And I hear people talking about the Atlas Gym while I'm going about my business. I overheard a conversation from someone who claimed to have talked to the owners. So this is just hearsay. But according to the rumor, uh, someone broke in Atlas Gym, took all the toilet paper, stuffed up all the toilets, and flushed them. So the toilets would overflow and the health department could come in and shut them down. Now, the person telling the story believed it. I don't know if I believed it. Maybe the guys at Atlas didn't want to be seen backing down in front of the cops and sabotage it themselves. Who knows? I don't think so, though. I, I, I think there was a concerted effort to shut that place down. But it ain't going to work. It ain't going to work at all. There's already a Pilates studio that's vowing to open. Pilates! A group of Karens. <laughs> they're mad. And they want to do their Pilates, Phil. And they're going to do them. And you, you are done. You are done politically forever. When the data comes out about this and how wrong you were and how you ruined people's businesses and lives just so you and the National Party could get a little leverage against Trump. You're going to lose, by the way. Tim Pool has another video about that as well. Uh, I'll talk about that in another video. Because after this, you know, I used to, uh, back in the day, when I voted, I voted Democrat. And then I became more of an independent. Started voting for independent, but my default would be Democrat for like, you know, the little positions underneath that I didn't even know the people. Then I became a libertarian and then it was all about being libertarian. And sometimes the libertarians, we don't have enough people to run. So, you know, we're not running people for like school board a lot of times or things like that. So a lot of those would be empty. So I would do write-ins. Or sometimes I would vote, you know, for someone I knew, things like that. Now, I think my default's going to be Republican. I think it has to be. Because I think the National Party has to be severely punished. It has to be punished beyond just losing in 2020. They have to have the defeat that Labor did in the UK. It's the only solution. And by the way, the defeat for labor in the UK hasn't changed labor much at all. So I wouldn't expect the Democratic Party to turn around. Um, but I think if you want a shot at it, <laughs> that's the only way. I think what really needs to happen now, uh, I think the Democratic Party's done. I think we have to start new. 
there has to be a new, new party uh, for the left, for the moderate Democrat. I think we really need to split the Republican Party or maybe have the Libertarian and versus Republicans. And, you know, put all the lefties in the Socialist Party and they'll probably have like one guy somewhere in California, in a California district until, you know, they spiral into nothing. Uh, that's where we're headed. Because this, Phil, you're following New York. You're following the models for New York and California. We can see it. I can see it, certainly. Cuomo is presiding over an absolute fiasco. He moved recovering beer virus patients into these nursing homes. And he's getting creamed. He's getting creamed. And all the appearances on CNN with his brother isn't going to help his career. By the time this is over, the data will be clear. The sunlight, the heat broke this thing. Understand the models that we had coming into it. The models were saying millions of people dead. We don't even have 100,000 people in the United States dead. Now, the numbers are high in the New York, New Jersey region, and those numbers are sad. Let's be real. But it's not what the predictive models said. It's much, much lower. Now, that could be a testament to the mitigation that we all did. So what do you think is going to happen based on the models now going into the summer? It's going to be much, much lower. They were predicting a second wave. It's not here. It's not here. And you think you're going to stand on top of the uh, piles of bodies, Phil, and say, hey, we didn't get a second wave. Thanks to me. No one's going to care because no one's going to have a job. And you're not going to be able to go back to Trump to get a big handout. You are finished in this state. As far as I'm concerned, I will tell anybody who will listen not to vote for Phil Murphy and never to vote for the Democratic Party. Not of New Jersey, not of any state. Tim Poole, by the way, uh, lives in South Jersey, not too far from me. Uh, he's decided that he's not going to build his business here because of the recent events over the past few weeks. He was planning on buying a building, uh, starting a, a news uh, entity here, employing probably dozens of people, spending a whole lot of cash. Guess what? Now he's out. Now he's looking for another state to do his thing. I can't blame him. I can't blame him at all. When he goes to uh, let's say Kentucky, and he sees the taxes and how much lower they are, how, how much they appreciate new businesses, how they basically don't bother you and let you do whatever the heck you want. You know, he's going to be just fine. But the rest of us here in South Jersey, well, you know, all those little breweries and uh, little burrito shops and all these little places that opened up in a good economy, the bookstores and uh, if you have a card shop or whatever, they're all going to be gone. They're all going to be gone thanks to Phil Murphy. Phil Murphy stuck the dagger in. And there's no getting around it now. Uh, and he's, be, he's dithering. He is dithering. Which in some respects is far worse than what uh, Whitmer and de Blasio are doing. Because they're just being outright tyrants. So you could just, you know not to listen to that. Murphy's like, oh no, it's, it's going to be a few weeks, everybody. Uh, everything's going to be great. He's trying to split the difference so he can say, oh no, well we weren't as bad as New York. <laughs> it's going to be bad. People are going to go out of business. People are out of business. The restaurants, I love restaurants. They're going to all be closed. I'm going to be driving to Pennsylvania. I'm going to be driving, well, maybe not Pennsylvania. They're not much better off there. I'm going to be driving to Delaware, I guess. I'm going to be driving all over the place looking for a restaurant. The casinos even, it's not even opening them. I'm, I guarantee you the casinos can figure this out, Phil. I guarantee you. 
and, and meanwhile, he's having meetings, I guess, with his crack team that are trying to figure out, well, uh, I guess we could wear a face mask and have everything wiped down. Did we, did we, did we tell people that already? What, what else are we going to do? You built the plexiglass thing. Uh, you're going to put people in a, in a, in a glass tube. There's nothing else to do, Phil. Open the state. Oh, by the way, uh, 2,100 acres burned in Winslow. and uh, But it's, it's contained. 